This tutorial is going to show you how to make these beautiful satin edge patches that you can hand sew onto the back of ties. And the picture you're looking at right now is the set of ties I made for my son's wedding for his entire bridal party, the dad, for himself, for all the groomsmen, and we're going to make these today. On my website, I sell files to make patches in two different types. You can make the ones on the left, which are felt and very quick, or you can make the ones on the right, which have the traditional satin stitching and use just a little bit more specialized materials and we're going to go ahead and make those today and I'm going to put a link to the tutorial for the felt ones in the description below. To make the satin edge patches you will need a heavyweight water soluble stabilizer and the one I prefer to use is this one from Sulky. I buy this package at Joann's. It costs about $35 or so, but I always use a coupon for it. As you can see here, it's somewhat opaque, very thick and very sturdy. And so you want to look for something like this that's going to be able to be strong enough to hold those satin stitches, especially at the end. So let's go ahead and hoop a piece of that heavy duty water soluble stabilizer. Put your hoop on the machine and run the first step. This is going to be a die line for you to know where to attach your fabric on the front as well as your stabilizer on the back. To make patches like this, you will want to have a nice sturdy material and I prefer to use a twill, maybe a duck cloth kind of material, which is what I have here today. If you're doing a larger patch, then sewing directly onto this twill works out very nicely, but I've found that when I'm doing smaller patches and especially more delicate fonts and that kind of thing, they don't show up so well on the twill material. The stitches seem to get lost a little bit more in that. So for these ones, I like to add a second layer of material on top of it. And for this one, I'm just using a nice thick regular cotton material. I'm going to tape the piece of twill fabric down and then I'm going to pin that piece of cotton over the top so it's nice and secure and it won't shift while it's sewing. I'm going to flip my hoop to the back and add some stabilizer and because of the density of the stitches here I'm going to add a double layer of tear away so it just has a little bit more strength and that finished patch is going to be even more sturdy. I'm going to tape that down to prevent shifting. The next thing I'm going to do is run the next color step which is a tack down that's going to hold all those layers together and make sure they're nice and smooth before I go on to the next step. The next step to your project is to go ahead and sew out all those design elements that you've chosen for the patch and this is where you can be creative and make those colors match the ties and really make this a beautiful unique project. 
After you finish all the design elements, remove the hoop from the machine. Take those pins out and we're going to turn this over to the back and remove the excess stabilizer from the outside of the patch. We don't need to worry about removing it from the inside of the patch. Now you're going to turn the hoop back to the front and at this point we are going to trim that fabric, both pieces in this case, as close as we can to the edge of the patch. And this is similar to applique work where you are just trying to make it so that satin stitch will be able to cover all of the edges. It takes a little bit of work, but you'll go back and forth between the front and back to make sure all of the excess threads and pieces that you want those satin stitches to cover, make sure all of those are trimmed away. Now that you have all of those trims done, you'll return the hoop to the machine and let that final satin stitch run and complete the sewing portion of this project. When your design has finished with the satin stitch, you can remove the hoop from your machine. And this is the fun part where you get to pop that design right out of that heavy duty washable stabilizer. And if there is any excess stabilizer, you can use a Q-tip with uh, water on it to remove any of the excess stabilizer but besides that your patch is done and ready to use so now your patches are done and this just shows you really quick two patches that are the exact same measurements in the files one is the felt variety one is the satin stitch variety they're both 1.75 inch stitch outs here so this just gives you an idea of how they look side by side after they have been finished. One super quick tip I used to prevent unraveling of that satin edge is if I see a little straggler piece like you see here, I will just fold it to the back and use a very small piece of scotch tape and just tape that little edge down to keep it from fraying and unraveling and of course that tape is going to be hidden on the back of the patch when it's sewn on. This is just a quick look to show how I did some of my patches multiples in a hoop so I could help preserve stabilizer plus you know it stitches out a lot faster if you can get multiples in a hoop and finish three at a time as opposed to one and then I have those were stitched out in the 1.5 inch size and I'm showing you here uh, the 1.75 inch size next to it just to kind of give a little view of the size difference just a quick reminder that you can find my tutorial for how to make these in the felt variety. You can purchase any of these files on my website, which is goldilocksdesigns.com. And each file comes with three sizes. I do this because there's many different tie varieties widths. And I want you to make sure you have what you need for your specific needs. So I'm showing you here the sizes that I have and the varieties that you can get for that as well. I would love to see your finished patches. I would love to see pictures. You can tag me on Instagram. You can come over on Facebook. I have a private group where we have freebies every Saturday. You can join and show us your finished patches. So come join the fun and have a great time making these satin patches.